So Mocha Rose, why clean comedy? Because I have a 14 year old daughter. So I didn't want to be saying all kinds of nasty things on television and then go around and then tell her that she can't say something. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I just wanted, and then plus I'm a Christian. It would have been hypocritical for me mm -hmm. to be on stage saying dirty stuff and, you know, trying to get a laugh and then praising God, you know, on Sunday. On Sunday. Right, right, right. <laughs> So, so do you see it as you know, part of ministry or something like that? I do. I do. Because, you know, I've been wanting to do this for 25 years. Mm -hmm. Long time. Just letting women and people know that they can do it themselves. It, you, you're never too old. Because mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm getting up there. Yeah. And so. But you're 22, 23 <laughs> years old. Um, let, me, let me ask you this. Um, what's your day job? I actually am a nurse anesthetist. Okay. So I put people to sleep for a living. Mm -hmm. I'm a knockout artist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I keep you from prematurely meeting Jesus. Now, now how long have <laughs> you been doing that? Almost 20 years now. Wow. Yeah, almost 20 years. I've been doing it so long that I've birthed one, a, a daughter that does anesthesia now. Okay, so it's like a family practice. Yeah. Like a, do you see that as a career or a stepping stone? Oh, that was my career. Your act, do you play it close to you or is it a character? No, I play it close to me. Okay. My, my life is funny. If you had one comic you could open for, dead or alive, who would it be? Wanda Sykes. Why? She just, she's just cool. You know what I'm saying? She just, mm -hmm. She's cool and I like her style of comedy. So I would love to open for her. Where do you see yourself in five years from now? On the big screen. On the big screen doing A-list movies. That's where I'm gonna be. I'm putting it. I'm putting it out in the Put atmosphere. Yes. That would mean that you have completely blown up. And, um, <laughs> so I'm gonna put it out there. I'm gonna be opening for Mocha Rose, the A-list movie star, in five years. <clears throat> um, what drives you? What's that thing that motivates you? That, that keeps pushing you to do what you do? To be better. I just me. I, I, I just want to be better. I want to do. I want to be better at my craft. Mm -hmm. What drives me is just my daughters, my mom. Well, my mom now. When I told my mom I was going to be doing stand up, she was like, "I can't see you being funny." <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that's why I hadn't told you in 25 years that I wanted to be a comedian because nobody knew. Nobody had a clue. Hmm. And when I started getting up on stages and stuff, they were like shocked, yeah. And I motivate myself, I do. I wanna be a role model for my daughters. That That's my biggest thing. I want them to know that their mom did everything that she wanted to do in life, and so they can too. So one last question about the comedy. Do you incorporate faith into the jokes? I mean, you know, what you believe, I mean, does that come out in your act? I try to stay away from religion. I mean, mm -hmm. I know my faith, and, yeah. you, and you know how some people can be, you know, they want to debate with you. Yeah, yeah. I know what I believe. Well, and there's those people who, who are just combatant. It's like, it's exactly. Like they, they, they do it on purpose. Yeah, I have a comic friend who, who he starts like little fights on, exactly. on, on, on Facebook all the time with people, you know, over religion. I tend to not talk about it with people unless I'm led to. Exactly. Certain things I don't talk about anyway. Like, like my mom said, I don't talk about money. Mm -hmm. I don't talk about religion. And mm -hmm. I don't talk about politics because mm -hmm. people get their feelings hurt. Exactly. We're there to make them laugh. Yeah. And to me, that stuff ain't funny. Yeah. If you're broke, it really ain't funny. Yeah. <laughs> and, if, and if you're doing the same job, somebody's making more money than you, that ain't funny either. Exactly. Yeah. But, but here's the thing I, I think I try to do is I try to just live in a way that people can see what my faith is as exactly. opposed to me having to tell them, you know, this is what it is. Like, you know, this is, this is how I live and this is what it is. Exactly. And not be a hypocrite in it because... You know, and that's again why I do clean comedy mm -hmm. because you know I don't want to throw somebody else off of their rocker because mm -hmm. I say that I'm a Christian and then I go out there and say all these vulgarities and right. talking about all kinds of stuff and they're like, "You a Christian with that mouth? Yeah. Really?" No, no, no. <laughs> I, I've seen your act and I know that in your act you talk about not not being able to cook. <laughs> no. So, so is that just a joke or no? Or I don't can you cook. Not? 
<laughs> is it that you don't? Is it, is it that you can't cook, or you just don't like to cook? It doesn't give me fuzzy goosebumps to cook. It doesn't bring me joy to cook. No. But here's the <laughs> thing: when you when you tell somebody that you're from Georgia, they instantly think you're supposed to be nice look, look, and be able to I cook. I expected to walk in here and smell <laughs> fried chicken and. And some yams and the whole night. No, the restaurants <laughs> around here personally know my name. So here's what we're gonna do today okay. before we leave here. Okay. We're gonna give you like a simple Northern Italian lesson. Um, you gonna make sure I don't burn down the kitchen? Failure free. It's me. I can burn water. <laughs> that's, that's... that's a difficult feat. <laughs> Somebody burning water is, is, is uh, that's, that's, that takes some doing. All right, well, uh, I think we should probably, you know, go in the kitchen and learn how to do something else. I'm scared. That's going to be big. I'm scared. You know, according to you, when you're cooking skills, and I'm your daughter and them, apparently, uh, this, this, this may be a turning point in your life. You, you may learn to love to cook today. Wait, they said no weapon formed against you shall prosper. <laughs> You'll be fine. Okay. All right, well, let's, let's go and check that out. Okay. So Mark took me in the kitchen against my will. I tried to warn him I'm dangerous in the kitchen, but he didn't listen. I won't be held responsible if he dies, which he probably will. All right, Mocha, so, so we're in your kitchen. We have some whole peeled tomatoes here. We're gonna make a nice Northern Italian sauce. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna do some nice spaghetti and um, some turkey Italian sausage in the oven. So what we gotta do is we gotta get you to get your hands into the tomatoes and break those up. See how, they, see how they're all big and puffy? So to show one, do one, teach one, it don't go with this? Yeah, I'm not getting my hands in there. <laughs> Cause that's gonna be your thing today. Just put your hand in there and, 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 and squeeze tomatoes. Yuck. Ew, it is nasty. And break them up. It is not nasty, it's just cooking. It's just like you go into the spa. Ew. No, I don't do this at the spa. I don't know what kind of spa Mark's been going to. I think someone might have tricked him into working at a restaurant. We're gonna take this to medium heat, a little medium high heat for now. You take a little bit of olive oil, about two tablespoons. How you know that's two tablespoons? Because I've been doing it a long time. While that's heating up, then you want to take care of your shallots and your garlic. Now most people get all they get frustrated with garlic because you peeling it is. It's hard to do. Mm -hmm. but I'm gonna show you how an easy way to, to peel a garlic. You see that? Here's a garlic clove. Just give it a squeeze. See how it opened up? Oh, you don't put the whole thing in there? This is not the garlic right there? Oh. This is the garlic, but you don't want the skin. Oh, so okay. You, so I'm gonna let you do one. You're gonna take it between your forefinger and your thumb and just squeeze it. Oh. Man, <laughs> All the rest of those are peeled. Oh. Okay. You want me to try how, again? How close is that McDonald's? <laughs> <laughs> these are shallots. You okay? I didn't mean to. I'm all right. I didn't lose an eye. Okay. These these are shallots. You want to take the shallot. See the the, the ridges? Mm -hmm. You just kind of want to go along the ridges. So you're gonna take this mm -hmm. and just put it in. Right. Mm -hmm. Now get your pepper. Put like a table, a teaspoon of pepper on that. I'll tell you when. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. This recipe calls for eight cloves. So you did you, you did two shallots. Okay. And you did eight cloves of garlic. And, and take your salt, and you want to put a pinch. <clears throat> okay, you gotta open it. I like this. Oh, this I this is what I like to do. I like to put it in my hand so you can see what you're getting. See that? Uh -huh. That's like a pinch. So two pinches. This okay. is tomato sauce. So you just put that in, and that's two cups. These are your two cans of whole peeled tomatoes. Okay. Right? So you're gonna take those, and you're gonna put those in. Now, I'm gonna give you the secret ingredient. I and yeah. if you tell anybody, I might have the key. Take your apple and the fork. Okay, without stabbing yourself, 
You want to poke holes all around the floor, all around the apple. Like that? Just quick. Okay. <laughs> let, me, let me show you some technique. You, you ain't trying to, to hold the apple with the fork. Okay. All you want to do is pierce the skin. Oh, see, you didn't say pierce the I skin. I said poke holes you in the apple. You said <laughs> You stab an apple like, like you at the grocery store <laughs> out in the parking lot and some assailant is out there. See, you cover more ground this way. Because you turn, because you, you oh, rotate the apple. Oh, watch your finger out. <laughs> In the sauce. Okay. In this pot, we got a boiling water. Mm -hmm. We'll put pasta in later. And because you eat healthy, this is turkey sausages. The red ones are hot and the other ones are, are mild. Okay. So we put your oven on at uh, broil low. Low. And just pop that in, in, in the oven. I think what we do is we put the pasta in at this point and then... That's all it takes. Okay. So at this point, we have to do movie magic. <laughs> And it'll be 45 minutes later, and they'll come back, and you know, the pasta will go in. Okay. That's a cut. 45 minutes was just enough time to get a doctor out to check for garlic-related injuries. Mark's concussion was pretty minor, so the doctor cleared us to finish up. He's lucky he didn't die. Show him what you did. Look at that. I'm so happy. Mark, thank you. So, to recap, tell him what you did. Okay, so... I had to put my hands in the mush, the tomatoes. <laughs> in the mush, the mm -hmm. tomatoes. And then the um, the garlic, I learned how to peel the garlic today. The dangerous garlic. Garlic but is dangerous. The you know incident I mean? was I almost put Mark's eye out because <laughs> I popped him in the eye. But I peeled the garlic, mm -hmm. and then I cut the onion, yep. and then um, I had to get my pot wet, and I stirred it up. Sauteed your, sauteed your garlic and sauteed is the word that I wanted. Sauteed and then um, your garlic and your shallots. Exactly. And then I had a cup of sauce, 28 mm -hmm. ounces. Poured it in there, and then I poured the tomatoes, the whole tomatoes. But you crushed by hand. Can I sh call myself a chef today now? No. No. <laughs> no, you're an apprentice. You're, 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 you're not even a sous chef. What? <laughs> You, you're a cook. You're a line cook. Uh, okay. <laughs> and so then we cook the pasta, and then we put the sausage in the oven, and, and ta-ta. So you need to find some confidence in you. So you're cheering. I... Don't have to be afraid in here. <laughs> they got to wear a helmet and some eye protection <laughs> and chain mail gloves. Oh, that's good. All right, I so, so you can read. Produce that, right? Yeah, I can. I can so, reproduce it. Yes. If I can do it, anybody can do it. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I couldn't replicate that again if I tried. So let's move on to something I actually enjoy doing. Stand up. Welcome to Pure Comedy, brought to you by PureFlix.com. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my good friend, Mocha Rose. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Have fun. Thank you. Thank you. What's up, everybody? How are you tonight? So, I'm originally from Georgia. You know where y'all is a proper noun. Ain't really is a word. It's in our dictionary. And you're really not about to go anywhere. It's I'm fixing to go right now. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? So, a lot of people ask me, where did I get the name Mocha Rose from? I made it up. <laughs> yeah. And it's hard being, you know, from Georgia because, you know, because you're a southerner, people think, you know, you're supposed to be nice, you're supposed to be kind. Sometimes. <laughs> Cooking. Don't ask me to cook nothing for you, okay? <laughs> because I'm one of those people that I've been banned from the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, I have a 25-foot restraining order against me. I am not allowed within 25 feet of a stove, a wok, an easy bake oven. I am not allowed to cook for my family, guys, and they are serious. This is how serious they are. I went to a, um, a family reunion meeting, and one of the ladies came up to me and she said, we don't want you to cook anything for us. And I was like, mama, it's not that serious. It's 
not that serious. Just because I burnt your boiled eggs in 1999 for your potato salad is not that serious. And you know, I helped her get the ladder up and it was, it, I mean, I helped her clean it up. You know what I'm saying? So let me tell you, comedy doesn't pay all the bills. Let's keep it real. So in the daytime, I'm a drug dealer. <laughs> Legally, legally. So I give anesthesia when I'm not on stage. Yes, I consider myself a true knockout artist. When I knock you out, you don't wake up until I tell you to. <laughs> and it's that serious, guys. I even took Muhammad Ali saying, I float like a butterfly, I sting like a bee. You want some anesthesia? Come see me. <laughs> yes, I do. I have fun with it. I tell the patients that I'm the one that's going to keep you from prematurely meeting Jesus today. <laughs> yeah, and I tell them when they go off to sleep, don't go to the light, don't go to the light. It's too much paperwork if you go to the light. Don't go to the light. Please, I got a margarita waiting for me at home. Don't go to the light. Scandal is coming on tonight. Please don't go to the light. <laughs> And it's so funny because patients say some of the craziest things under anesthesia. I had this little Filipino lady that I put to sleep that couldn't speak English before she went to sleep, okay? <laughs> before she went to sleep. But I took her to the wake up room and she looked at me and I looked at her and she was like, she said something to me that has never been said to me before and I'm sure it won't ever be said to me again. She looked at me and she said, are you black? I'm like, lady, did I mess you up? Are you black? I mean, it was serious, it was serious. But, you know, needless to say, the nurses heard us over at the, um, the, the building, uh, at the desk, and they were like, I thought she couldn't speak English. And I was like, yeah, she can speak English. And they said, what did they, what were you two talking about? And I said, we were, she asked me, was I black? And they were like, what did you tell them? Um, if there were 50 shades of black, I'm number 48, extra crispy. I can't pass for nothing else but that. I'm just saying. So guys, I have a 28 year old yeah, I'm the youngest mother in the book of Guinness World Records at the age of five, okay, I'm 31. And then I have a 14 year old, pray for us, cause we the only two in the house, let me tell you. My horm her hormones are up here, my hormones are down here, and it's a roller coaster waiting, it's, we fighting all the time. And she's gonna kill me about talking about her on stage, but I'm gonna talk about her today. Because I told her, that, you know, you got to do what you're supposed to do before, you know, you got to take care of yourself. And she was like, but mama, why? I said, because you're going to make me bring some propofol home and put you to sleep until you're 31. That's what I'm saying. Yes, I'm that woman that I don't play with kids. I don't like kids, I'm just saying. <laughs> I tell her all the time, I love you, but I don't like you very much. <laughs> yes. And since I've been out in California, I've lost 25 pounds. Woo! Yeah. Woo! My, um, my, my little can of busted biscuits, they were overflowing. You know what I'm saying? And it's so funny because when I came out here, you know, everybody was eating kale, wheatgrass, Tofu, that's to fool you, cause I'm not eating that. Give me my, give me my um, pizza, my chicken, and all that good stuff, cause it's good for your arteries. You know what I'm saying? I like that. Um, basically, I have been out here for almost four years. I love California, and I actually left Georgia because I was depressed. The Pacific Ocean stopped me. Okay, guys. You know, I don't get in the water because it's too much out there that can eat you. You know what I'm saying? So, I've been married for 17 years. Not all in a row. 
Not all to the same person <laughs> and not all to the same race. I'm just saying I'm an overachiever in that area. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I've been married three times, guys. And I know you're looking at me saying, wow, she looked normal on the outside. <laughs> but she must be wrapped up with a whole lot of crazy on the inside. And I am. I am crazy. That's all I'm saying. And you know, I did. I looked over those relationships. And I should have known it wasn't going to work out because I was a Libra and they were cheaters. <laughs> Should have known. Well, guys, that's my time. I'm Mocha Rose. Mocha Rose. Follow her on social media. Please.